Uh, today we're going to go through the control panel of the new Okamoto SA-1 machine. Um, on the top right corner, of course, we have our e-stop, hydraulics on. From there, simply we have wheel on and off, coolant on and off, and dust suction on and off. Below that, we have our variable holding chuck control with the potentiometer. So we have on with the variable hold, neutral, and then we have a DMAG cycle which puts a reverse pulse through the chuck to break any suction between the part and the chuck to easily remove the part or more easily remove the part from the chuck itself. Now the, we do call this a DMAG but it does not take all the residual magnetism that the part picks up during the chuck being on. From there we have our auto retract either in auto or manual. This machine comes standard with auto retract so if you're doing many of the same parts you can load up that first load of parts, establish your start position and at the end of that cycle the machine will retract either automatically or manually to the start position of that program allowing you to take all the parts that have just been ground off, put your new load on and simply push cycle start without having to continuously reestablish your start position. To the left of that, the SA-1 also comes with a hydraulic over-the-head wheel dresser with dress compensation. Again, activate that manually or in cycle. And when we're in cycle, we can establish by stock removal how many times we want to dress, how often we want to by stock removal, and we will cover that when we go to the CRT portion of the SA control. To the left of that, we basically have our rapid forward and back for our saddle um, by touching this and wrapping forward or wrapping back I can move the position in the center position what it will do it'll follow the taut positions for the back and front of the saddle which is covered under the CRT software to the left of there we have our rapid and again that will work with your forward and back your manual and with this pulse generator which is for your vertical we've got one ten millionth in feed one tenth in feed and fifty millionths in feed. We can go to our pulse generator for our cross feed which also has one tenth increments, five tenths increments, and two thousandths increments. To the left of there we have our stock removal so once we've come down and touched off manually on our part we go to stock removal and again we'll jump into the CRT a little bit we'll touch total stock removal we program how much stock we want to take off and then from there we would just go to auto stop and start our table left to right and it would in feed on our programmed increments down to zero once it got to zero if we have our auto retract on it will retract back up to that initial five thousandths above finish size of our parts just below this selects our cycles we have two different plunge cycles one where it'll plunge only on the right side one where I'll plunge on the left and right. The plunge cycle has no cross feed movement. So this is typically used for parts that are equal to or under the width of your wheel for fast stock removal. Most cycles are used in a traverse mode. So this would be where the part is wider than the wheel. And we select that the part is wider than the wheel. And then from there we have two cycles. We either have a step cycle or we can have a continuous cycle. Then we have a third choice of a cycle would be our shift plunge. By pushing shift plunge, you will notice that it picked plunge for the rough grind and then traverse for the fine. So what this allows you to do is it will plunge all your rough stock removal off and then when it changes over to its fine stock removal, it'll give you a continuous mode to blend all of those plunges. So this gives you the best of cycle time and still leaves you that ultra fine finish that you're looking for from the grinder. As we come down to the bottom control here, again, our vertical pulse generator controlled by our increments of 5 tenths, 1 tenth, 1 ten millionth. And then we have our rapid up and down. So if I come in and hold the two together, it'll wrap it up, wrap it down. But if I am to touch one or the other without the secondary rapid button taught, they are safety interlocked. The last one is your incremental down. So once you are in the cycle, if you don't feel that you touched off correctly or it's only touching a small portion of the part, every time you would push 
increment down feed of what your program's in. So if you're in rough at five tenths, every time I push this in an auto cycle, it would give me five tenths down feed.